Hello viewers and welcome to the e-learning class. So today we want to learn about the force pump. So this is the force pump now, the gadget. So if you look at the force pump, we have the, the piston here. This is the piston that can move up and down. We have the piston. Then we have two valves. We have this valve here and this other valve here. These are two adjustable valves. They are all movable. So we have this valve here and this other valve. Then we have the barrel, the barrel here, and then we have the, the chamber, the chamber here. So let's see how it works. So first of all, I'll ensure the lower tip is submerged in the water, and then I pull up the piston separately. Let's see. Can see that so that is how it works so uh, maybe we can understand what is happening here let's understand what is happening so we have the up stroke and we have the down stroke so you realize that when you are lifting up the piston when you are lifting up the piston uh, the, the air pressure uh, in the barrel becomes less than the atmospheric pressure it reduces because the air expands here meaning its density reduces so when you lift up the piston, the air pressure in the barrel reduces because the air occupies a larger space and therefore the greater atmospheric pressure acting on the liquid surface opens up the lower valve which makes the liquid get into the barrel. And then during the downstroke, the lower valve is closed due to its own weight and also due to the weight of water above it because you are compressing the water. So during the downstroke, you realize that the lower valve is closed due to its own weight and also due to the weight of water above it. But now, because you are compressing the water, because you are now compressing the water, you realize that the upper valve now opens because now the water as it tries, you know the air pressure, the water pressure in the barrel becomes then more than the air pressure in the chamber. The, air, the water pressure in the barrel becomes more than the air pressure in the chamber that's why now the valve is opening because of the pressure difference and you realize that water gets into the chamber now and then with the time you realize that uh, the liquid now starts flowing smoothly let's see again observe the valves half stroke down stroke up stroke observe also the valves observe the valves down stroke which valve is open up stroke which valve is open and the liquid, how it, the liquid flows. Remember, the liquid is flowing continuously now. The liquid is now flowing continuously, unlike when you are using a force pump. So, and now maybe we can understand further what's happening now. You have seen this one as uh, the barrel, the barrel here, and then it has the chamber here, then it has two valves. And you realize that uh, this one is producing a continuous flow of uh, water as compared now to the to the other gadget so maybe we can understand further we can understand further on the force pump so we you realize that uh, the force pump can be used to raise water below 10 meters so you realize that it can be used to raise water below 10 meters and the reason for that is that it, it does not, uh, uh, the reason for that is that it does not depend on atmospheric pressure. Its working does not depend on atmospheric uh, pressure. And now we are seeing the advantages are two. One, it enables a continuous, a continuous flow of water. You have seen that. The water is flowing continuously. It's not in pulses. And then also you realize that uh, the height it raises water does not depend on atmospheric uh, pressure then uh, you can also you can also look at the other detail now whereby we are saying the height to which now the lift pump the force pump sorry the height to which the force pump can lift water depends on two factors one the amount of force you are applying during the half stroke and the down stroke as well the amount of force you are applying and the number two the ability of the chamber to support the 
the ability of the chamber to support the water column in the chamber. So we are saying uh, the working of this lift pump depends on two factors. One, we have said it is the ability, the ability of this chamber to support the water above it. The ability of the chamber to support the water above it there. Remember it has a ham here holding it. And you're also seeing the other factor is the amount of force you are applying uh, during the upstroke and the downstroke. So that, that is the, now the, the force pump. Remember the force pump is slightly different from the lift pump. If you look at the lift pump, this is the lift pump. This is the force pump. The force pump has two barrels. We have the lower barrel and also the upper chamber. But this one has also has all the lift pump has only one barrel. The force pump has two valves. You have this valve and this valve. But you realize the lift pump has only one valve here. And then you also realize this one is having continuous flow of water. Force pump is having continuous flow of water, or lift pump is having a uh, is uh, having water in terms of pulses. You also realize this one does not, at first pump, does not depend on atmospheric pressure for its working, but this one depends, the lift pump depends on atmospheric pressure. So, and that's why we are saying the first pump is better than the lift pump because it can pump water beyond 10 meters and also uh, uh, it, its water flow is continuous, but this one does, cannot pump water beyond uh, 10 meters and also the water flow is not continuous. So that marks the end of uh, that session. We stop there now. Let's see you in the next video.